Uh, everything set up? Ready? Um, you really need to wear that t-shirt though. Yeah, why? What's, what's wrong with it? <laughs> so, the seventh Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. 44 million copies sold in its first year of release. Bloody hell! And now you'd think with a uh, release this hotly anticipated, um, stores will take advantage of customer demand. And some stores did. Weirdly, one of the few that actually took a stand for customers was the British arm of Walmart, Asda. So are you, um, are you, are you familiar with uh, Walmart at all? Um, any of the shady, crazy, like, anti-consumer shit they've done? I know they're using South Park as an evil entity. Yes, uh, a literal evil entity. <laughs> War, like specifically, they are a huge bunch of assholes. Like, an unbelievable fucking bunch of pricks. And they hate unions, because unions can fight for worker rights. And Walmart's not about that. There's a clip online of one of their anti-union videos, where it's like, oh, unions are anti-worker, even though it's the definition of what a union is. Every job has its ups and downs, and a union can't change that fact. One of the meat counters, like Joe, like our butchers basically, they unionised in, I'm not sure what it was, it was a small Walmart somewhere like in the arse end of America. They managed to successfully unionise, which Walmart didn't like. So the next week, um, every meat counter in every Walmart in the country was just got rid of. But yeah, they're evil, basically, they're an evil company. Um, the British arm, Asda, not as evil. They've, uh, I checked yesterday, you can scroll down to their Wikipedia page, the controversy section's there. But the most major part of it isn't like union busting and pay underpaying staff, it's the horse meat scandal. <laughs> For our American viewers, if you are not familiar with the British horse meat scandal, a few years ago, uh, a lot of our superstores found that their really cheap ready meals, like lasagnas, spit bonnets, contained horse, not beef. For some reason, horse is cheaper than beef, who knew? What was the story where they did like a DNA test on a, like, a lasagna, was it? They checked a vegetarian one and the vegetarian one had horse meat in it. And they checked the beef one and the beef one had no meat. The beef lasagna on spaghetti one had less meat than the vegetarian one. Chizik! Fresh horse! So from one massive dickhead corporate entity to another. Bloomsbury, the guys who published the Harry Potter books. When it first came out, do you remember how much the recommended retail price was? I bought it for 9 dollars No, 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 that's, that's a pound more than it was, but you think that's not reasonable. The actual recommended retail price was 17 dollars 17 dollars 17 dollars same price as stuff like reference books and things like that. It was twice as much as the first book. So why did Asda care then? Well, their official standpoint was they didn't want, and if this is the exact quote, we don't want to hold children's enjoyment to ransom. Right, this is a really popular book. A lot of kids read this book, they've grown up with it, they want to know how the story ends. A lot of kids are using their pocket money to buy this. And we don't want to charge $17.99 for it because that is too much for any child to afford. How am I to pay for all this? I haven't any money. So, what Asda did is they said, we're not going to sell it for that, we're going to knock a tenner straight off that price, it's like $7.99. So did Bloomsbury do something about it? Oh yeah, Bloomsbury were pissed. Um, mysteriously, after Asda announced they were going to knock a tenner off the price, they lost their order. Lost it? Yeah, they, like, it mysteriously disappeared. They said, we never received payment for the invoice we sent for the several million copies of our book you ordered. Sounds, uh, oh yeah, it sounds very, very believable, yes. Um, so obviously Asda weren't happy about that, and when Bloomsbury realised, holy fuck, we've just tried to poke the hornet's nest, that is, the billion dollar legal department of Walmart, they mysteriously found the invoice and sent the books. You probably remember this, but they didn't sell it for $7.99, did they? They announced they were going to sell it for another price. Do you remember what that price was? Because it made national news. It was pretty low, wasn't it? Five pounds. Five. They sold it for a five, but they knocked off 12 99 off the recommended retail price. Technically, selling it at a loss, because they were buying it in for, I think, six or seven pounds. You can't sell the book for 17 99 when Asda down the road is selling it for a fiver. So every other store in the country also lowered their price to, I think, about a tenner. <laughs> Seems like you could just buy it from Asda and sell it elsewhere. Oh yeah, people did that. After it was released, Asda, they didn't, I don't think they put a limit on the amount of copies a customer could buy initially, because they thought, well, people might walk in buy one copy themselves, another copy for a friend who couldn't wait in line. They sold out, and it turns out that like, small bookshop owners, you know those people who've always, oh, we've been oppressed and crushed by those giant corporations who undercut us at every turn. Yeah, they were walking in, buying a massive handful of copies, 
go into their little stores, jacking the price right up to $17.99 and selling it for that when as the run out. They're like those dickheads who buy concert tickets and then after the fact sell them on eBay for like three times the price and go, well, the demand's there. The demand's there because you were there first <laughs> buying the tickets. The demand wouldn't exist if not for assholes like you. It was amazing. Look, there were stories from like independent bookshop owners that were being priced out. Like, what are we supposed to do? It's like, we can't compete with this company. It's like, but I understand and I feel for you, but don't choose the hill to die on it. We want to defend our right to sell this story for kids for more money. Like, choose another book. Maybe not Harry Potter. Not the one that like children are trying to buy with their pocket money. And a kid walks in, yeah, 70 99 kid. It's an outrage! It's a scandal! Were there any repercussions for that? Um, not that I can remember. No, they didn't really lose any money. Like, they sold the book at a loss, but... It's the last book of the series. It's not like they're going to have to... Like, yeah, they didn't have to really deal with Bloomsbury. And they, Bloomsbury, as you've seen, have lowered the price again because they can't justify charging that much for prices. Um, a lot of companies that will try and test the waters, like we're a massive release that people are going to buy, you can test the waters of jacking up the price that much because you know people are going to buy it. And it's weird that the only company that said no wasn't like a giant book manufacturer whose living depends on like good customer goodwill for like we sell books it was like fucking asda and they're like no no no, we're gonna sell it for less we're gonna take a stand for the children and also as well they wanted to build a giant book shaped middle finger and point it directly at bloomsbury Oh, I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you the story after this. We've got to do, was it like, comment, subscribe? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Right. Let's do that then. Hey guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Right. So the t-shirt. You want to know the story? Have a guess what BJ stands for. I'll give, I can give you a clue and tell you where I bought it from. I bought this in China. Beijing. Beijing, yes. And one of the things they love the most is Western culture. So they decided to make their own, like the, obviously in the style that I love New York t-shirt. The problem is, Beijing is one word. So how do you anachronize Beijing? With, well, I don't know, how about we go BJ? So I was walking through a market in China. Picture the scene. I come across a market stall with t-shirts all lined up, all saying, I love BJ. I creased right fucking there. I was down for the count for a good five minutes. I could not fucking believe it. And I go up to the woman and she speaks no English. She speaks a little bit of English, but she speaks no English. And I point at the t-shirt and I say, how much? And she says, oh, you like BJ? And I'm like, I love BJ. How much, how much? 20 kawaii. And it's forever. I'm not even haggling with this woman. I want this fucking t-shirt right now. My mate who's with me, he's in the corner, just, just shaking his fucking head. And he don't want to come near me. I'm there going, <gasps> and pointing at the t-shirt and waving around and going up to people. So we go to a nightclub that night. I'm wearing the t-shirt because of course I am. <laughs> Thing you need to know about China, white people drink for free in Chinese nightclubs. I don't know why. So I stroll in, wearing the t-shirt. A group of about four girls see. They see the t-shirt, they see that I'm white. They come over, they point at the t-shirt. <gasps> you love BJ? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you like BJ? We love BJ! Can we take picture? Because they like, for some reason they take pictures of white people over there. I don't know why. Um, there was a picture of me just posing with some random Chinese girls who were like, oh, you're white. It's like, I am. <laughs> would, you, would you like a picture? And they're like, yes. There was one of this old woman. She, it was a, a birthday. We were at Tiananmen Square where nothing has ever happened, according to the Chinese. Um, an old Chinese woman was there and her Son comes up and says, she's never seen a white person before. It's her birthday. Can we take a picture? And it's just me and my mate there like that. And this squat Chinese woman. And he sent me the same picture after the holiday was up with the Brazzers logo on it. I fucking lost it. Oh, it had me in tears. Anyway, I'm in this club. And all the girls are there. And it's like, we'll take a picture. So pass the camera to someone. So I didn't get this one and I'm really upset because somewhere out there, a Chinese girl has got her profile picture on whatever the Chinese version of Facebook is. Her, this big giant white guy, and they're all pointing at her t-shirt saying, I love BJ's going. And I'm just there going. And I'll... And it was the best night I've ever had.